So, just want to make a brief video. You know, I watch all these YouTubers, and uh, and I tell you what, I get a lot of good, valuable information. And uh, I, I tell you, in watching the mainstream news, you're not going to get anything worthwhile there. You know, all it is is an opinions. Um, you know, yesterday I, I I made a video. I was I was. It was at the end of my biking video because, uh, you know, me, I'm more about uh, making videos about adventure, you know, getting out and uh, challenging uh, wild pigs and doing uh, crocodile hunter type stuff. But, uh, um, you know, I it was horrible. I got to watch this young man bleed out at uh, at a gas station. Uh, he'd been stabbed. Um, he was in shock. And um, You'll have to watch the end of that video. I won't go into details about that. A lot of blood. Lots of blood. But anyway, um, let's just get into uh, the craziness of life. Because, you know, one of the things the YouTubers that I fault a lot of the other channels other than mine, you, you can't prepare for everything. You know, I mean, I... I I recall a, uh, a young woman, uh, she was telling me that the, uh, a friend of hers, he was a prepper and he'd been buying food and doing what I do. You know, I buy extra supplies. I keep lots of toilet paper on hand. I mean, I do all the crazy stuff that you got to do to, to, you know, if, if, if when the stuff, well, the stuff's going to hit the fan, no doubt about it. But uh, at the same time, I mean, the pipeline at that time, at that, that was months ago. If you go, you can go way back in my videos and watch that one. It was, it was a cool video. And uh, he got stuck <laughs> miles and miles and miles from his house. And, uh, and of course, you know, he wasn't like me. He didn't have all his camping gear in the car. And, uh, and so he couldn't get home because there was no gas, you know, and so the, cause the pipeline went down. So, uh, you know, what I'm telling you is you can't prepare for everything. I mean, look at, uh, look at Kentucky. Oh my God. I, I've watched the, I, well, I say Kentucky, there's, there's four States that went through it. I'm not going to list them all, but, uh, uh, so many people just lost everything. I mean, can you imagine your home? And everything in it just getting destroyed. <sighs> you know, so, um, well, what I'm telling you is, is just do the best you can. And, uh, you know, hell, I mean, look at me. You know, uh, I prepared everything. And, uh, and I will tell you this. Uh, before my wife, uh, she decided on this divorce... You know, I was balancing the finances between her because she had some some investments and I had investments. And and unfortunately, I, I invested her extremely well into uh, mining stocks and uh, precious metals. Uh, and then I was using my accounts to be a little bit more risky uh, with, um, you know, some uh you know, betting against the stock market. Of course, the stock market's done nothing but go up. Um, of course, now now it's going back down, and, and I'm probably making money. I just haven't had time to look at it because, you know, now I'm dealing with the divorce, and uh, you know, I mean, just you know, it, and so you deal with it day by day. I mean, look at the day. I had to wash the car. I'm trying to become an Uber driver. And by the way, we'll be making videos on uh, what it is to be an Uber driver because I got to make some money to stay in this house. Because uh, you know, without her uh, social security, um, I don't think I can I can make ends meet. Um, so, but I I thought that's that's kind of my next job. I, that's that's what I'm looking at, and I think that's where I'm going. And uh, and I'll talk about that journey as as I go. Because these videos are all about life's journey, and uh, um, I just think that that's 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 kind of where I, I I need to go because I can work the hours that I want to work. I've got the Toyota Prius Prime. If you've watched any of my videos, I get 80 miles to the gallon. Uh, you know, Biden can get those prices up to six dollars a gallon. I just think that makes me much more competitive against all the other Uber drivers, uh, and so my profit margins will be a lot better than theirs. And uh, the thing is, you can punch in on the clock when you want, punch out on the clock when you want, and uh, and you know, my health is such that I have to kind of you know, 
do my days, uh, uh, you know, because, you know, each day is a, is a challenge. I mean, you know, today I won't even, I don't want to gross you out, but, you know, I'm in and out the bathroom uh, all damn day long. But, uh, and you know, I talk about on my videos where the bathrooms are, where are the bathrooms. Um, so, you know, I, some days I have good days, some days I have bad days. I mean, that's just the nature of the beast because two-time cancer survivor. Um, so, but I got to live my life and I got to do the best I can. And I want to get out and, uh, you know, experience the world. So I guess uh, the point of this video is, um, you know, I'm going to warn you again, and I've warned you in many, many, many videos. You've got an 80% crash in the stock market coming. Okay, whether you believe it or not, whether you, what you, I don't give a shit whether you want to watch me or not, or you, you care about what I have to say. You've got an 80% crash in the stock market coming. Now, I prepared for that. Uh, and luckily, my wife, uh, to her credit, she left me the infrastructure uh, to rebuild after an 80% stock market crash. She took a lot. And that was, uh, that was something I wasn't anticipating. And that's what I'm telling you is you can never anticipate everything. You know, whether it be a tornado tearing your house down or your wife leaving and taking a bunch of stuff, um, you know, I, and to her credit, I mean, she could have she could have wiped me out while I was up in Virginia helping my mother. I mean, it, it could have been it could have been devastating. And then what am I going to do? Hire lawyers and and try to fight the whole damn deal? No, I give her credit. Uh, she's a liberal, uh, Joe Biden Democrat uh, progressive, and uh, you know, uh, well crazy person in my opinion and she thinks i'm crazy because i'm a maga person but uh you know so so it could have been it could have been a hell of a lot worse and so i'm not i'm i am not uh well what do i want to say i mean i i'm very thankful and, and i'm seeing the benefits you know because now i'm starting to move stuff around the house and uh and I just briefly talked about, you know, what I did. I, I, I washed the car because I'm trying to get it ready to be an Uber driver. And, uh, and today I washed the dishes. I got the laundry done. And so this is the kind of the stupid stuff that you go through in divorce because you, you got to do your day-to-day -day stuff and, uh, and get it all done. So the other thing that I want to warn you about, you know you have a real estate market crash coming. Okay, so if you're flying high on your, your real estate prices and uh, you think, oh my God, you know, and this, and this is where I give my wife credit. I mean, I, I do in, in certain ways is, is that she's just trying to get her half of the equity out of the house from the price that we paid for the house because Florida is a 50-50 state, you know, and, uh, and that's what her attorney is instructing her on. It, it, she can't get, you know, the house right now is worth this inflated, you know, wild number that, uh, yeah, I could sell it for it. But then if I try to move to another house in Florida, I'm going to have to pay inflated prices. So it's a wash, right? And and unless you're going to pay rent and now she's found out how, how much rents are. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was a, I bet that was a freaking shock to her. How much rents are here in Florida? Oh my God! I mean, the whole damn world's moving to Florida. I bet, I bet the rents here must be, you know, it probably look like San Diego or uh, you know, San Francisco or whatever. You know what what the rents are there. But anyway, so um, uh, you know what I'm saying is is that. Uh, I can stay in this house for at least a couple more months, um, and uh, we'll we'll just keep working on the channel. And uh, I, I do, you know, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to monetize the channel, and um, I don't know. I mean, I YouTube, you know, then then YouTube's going to take attention to me because uh, uh, you know I'm a conservative. They don't want no damn conservatives on YouTube, so. Um, but well, let's just do the mantra and finish off this video. Uh, but I just wanted to put up a brief video about life because uh, that's what I talk about a lot of times. Uh, uh, you, and by the way, I, I always talk about the future videos. Uh, I might, I might today because it is past midnight. I might go to Hypata or Hypata. I think that's how you pronounce it. I might go there for a hike today because I'm not taking the bike. I've done enough by 
<laughs> biking. <laughs> I mean, in the last uh, couple of weeks, you know, and so I, I, I just, I'm putting the bike away for a little bit and just going to go on some hikes. And, uh, and uh, so we'll, we'll go back to the Habata um, area there uh, at Pruitt, at the Pruitt Trailhead. And, uh, and maybe do some hiking around there and I'll make another video. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to show people in central Florida what's available to them. And, uh, and this time I'm going to take the left hand turn, which I talked about in a previous video. And uh, that should be pretty cool. You know, as long as a bear doesn't eat me. And I will have the bear spray along with me. And uh, I do need to go ahead and get the dog on concealed carry license here in florida uh, i just haven't done it uh, especially when i head up into the ocala national forest but you saw on a on a previous video that uh, that trail is impossible to hike uh well i mean not impossible like i could outfit myself for it and uh, and and carry my gun without a concealed carry but then you know if i shoot something i'll probably go to jail for the rest of my life you know the way the world is today all right, so let's peace out. Let's do the mantra. Freedom! Oh, freedom! Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no jab requirements, no mask requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please and free to work any job that we want under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. Peace out and stay free.